Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to create geometries very quickly with the help of M4. And later you can also adjust them very quickly with the help of Smart Edit and the Parametric Module. Let's start by creating a geometry. To do this, we first use the Solid Line Wide and the Smart Drafting Tool. With this we can now draw geometries very quickly, because with the Smart Drafting Tool we can set the angles or the lengths of individual lines or the individual distances. In the context menu we can also switch to arcs. I would also stop drawing here for now, as I only need one half of the line now. And I would like to show you some more functions. First of all, I would like to duplicate and mirror the selected line or the line I have just created. To do this, I simply select the point where I want to mirror and create a mirrored copy. Now I can connect the two lines with the menu item Connect Lines. This gives me a geometry. With a double click on the end of the line and then with the command close line in the context menu, I can now complete the geometry. I want to create an additional line and select new line in the menu. Now I can insert a hole. To do this, I select the center of the circle in the menu at circle or close geometry which is then created from the center point. I can still edit the properties of closed geometries here, namely the center line. There I can change the overhang, I change it to zero. And I can determine the point function for the ends of the center lines. Here, for example, I can define a small projection with the point function. I can either select this directly or I can simply change it here. Confirm with OK. Now I can say I want to do the whole thing starting from the center of this radius. And I switch on the center line. I click on the geometry here and get the center point as the base point and can create my arc accordingly. The center lines were also generated. Now I want to insert a hole. To do this, I have now selected the short line narrow as the line type and now I also select the rectangle. I switch on the center line again and draw it in like this. I don't need a center line of this and now I simply delete one of them with remove. Now here is the center line. I want to extend it. To do this I simply use the trim tool. Now click on the ends and draw them as long as I need them. In the next step I want to copy this geometry over. I would like to have the same geometry on the other side. So, the same procedure as before, simply mirror and copy accordingly. Next, we move on to dimensioning the geometry. To do this, we select the labeling tool. Here I want to insert the chain dimensioning first. In the context menu I can decide whether I want to simply set it off by selecting lines or whether I want to do the whole thing by selecting points. Of course, I can also edit the individual dimensions afterwards. Now I want to insert additional dimensions. And to make it look nice, I can align it with the other dimension by the last click. Now I align all the dimensions as I need them, or rather, I would like to adjust them a bit. To do this, I can adjust the properties in the dashboard of the individual dimensions. I can now add more dimensions. Diameter and for this a radius for example.
the corresponding dimension is now set off. Now my geometry is completely dimensioned and now I can go and adjust it. As you could see, at the beginning, I didn't pay much attention to how big the whole thing should be. Simply for the reason, that I can now adjust it much more quickly with Smart Edit. I can either click on individual dimension elements and drag them. Or I can change individual elements myself, such as the radius or the diameter. Here I can also change the distance accordingly. This means that I can either click on the dimensions and drag them, or drag the individual lines myself and change them. You can simply try this out. Try it out a little bit. I can also change the reference point to which the whole thing is to be aligned. Or you can simply click on the text and the dimensioning and change the dimensioning value here. This makes your drawing completely configurable. This means that you save your drawing once, and then later you can completely adapt it again and again with Smart Edit, according to your new order. And this is how it works, you simply click on the dimension in Smart Edit mode and can now completely adjust it. I'm going to adjust this drawing once now, with Smart Edit. I drop the tool and we get a completely new drawing. Completely redone and perfectly aligned, just as we need it. In the next step I would like to show how this can also be done with the help of the parametrics module. That is, with the possibility of parameterizing individual drawings. To do this, I first have to activate it accordingly. I switch to the parametric tool tray. Here, I first set the base point for my parametric drawing. That is, the point at which the whole thing is to be aligned. For this, such a prim is set and I can now check the parametric drawing with the help of temporary grid. It all looks very good and that means, that all geometries have been captured, and I can now try it out. I will now try to parameterize the drawing. To do this, I simply go there, click on a dimension and change the dimension text. Here. For example, from 85 to 80. Nothing changes at first. Now I change the radius from 40 here, I simply change this radius now. I now change the diameter here to 35. And so that the whole thing is completely parameterized, I can go here and say parameterize and the drawing is completely adapted. That means I can save my drawing. And the next time, I open it, I can adjust the individual elements according to my wishes. Parameterize everything again and again. It is even better, if I go and assign parameters to individual elements. That's why it's called a parametrics. I go there and assign the parameters H1 and H2 for the different heights, for example. Now I go to the widths, for example B1 and B2. For this, the corresponding diameters for example D1 for the top D2. I define the second D1 here. That means I can equate several parameters. And I can also, for example, enter a text for the radius. Radius as a parameter. So, 
Now I need the admin dialog. I can only access it if I log in as administrator. The password for this is admin. Now I can access the admin dialog. Here I can now define what the individual variables should be called. Provide them with information, which is then listed accordingly for me in a separate dialog. I can now describe the whole thing. Width 1, for example, can enter a predefined value, for example 100 and a position of 1. So which position but from top to bottom in the dialog. Width 2 should be 80 and at position 2. Next, I want to have the radius. This should be called radius and that was 45 and should be on position 3. Now I just write all the other parameters. Now write the 2 a diameter 2. Diameter corresponding to 35. Position 4 and continue the whole thing accordingly. In this dialog I now define what is to be displayed for me later in a separate dialog. I can also enter the title here, assign the image. I do this as an admin once for a drawing and later I can call up this drawing again and again and parameterize it anew. With a separate dialog, we'll see what that looks like in a moment. As I told you, I could simply take a screenshot of the drawing and save it as an image. This would then also be displayed in the dialog. I now enter a title here, example 1, and with that I have basically saved my configurator. I now save this in the drawing. I save the drawings again, and would now call them up again and again. To call up the drawing, I am no longer in admin mode. I now have to access another dialog. As a normal user, I open the update loading dialog. We have just configured this. This means, that I have now built a small configurator for myself. With it, I can now adapt the individual drawings very quickly for myself directly, when I open them. So, I have just received a new order and can now enter here exactly the corresponding parameters that were given to me by the customer. I simply click on OK and get a new drawing. Then I hope that this video will help you in your daily work and show you how to create and adjust drawings very quickly. And if you don't have M4 yet, I invite you to test it. You can do so on our website at www.cadschroer.com. Thank you very much and see you next time.